Bacteria are all around us, on the lab benches, desks, on our clothes, even our skin. It is important that when conducting these experiments, these unwanted bacteria don't cause contamination and interfere with the bacteria that we are trying to study. Because we are working with Pseudomonas fluorescens to study evolution, we want to practice aseptic technique to make sure that this is the only bacterium that we are studying. Aseptic technique is something that is probably new to you, but don't worry, it's really easy to learn and there are various techniques that can be used to ensure that you are maintaining sterility throughout the course of your experiment. One of the most important things that you will use over the next several days that will allow you to continue to practice sterile technique is a Bunsen burner. To light the Bunsen burner, make sure that the hose of the Bunsen burner is connected to the gas line which has been turned on by your teacher. Next, open the gas valve on the lab bench until you start to hear the gas flowing. Hold your striker just above the top of the barrel of the Bunsen burner until you see a flame. Once the Bunsen burner is lit, Adjust the flame so that your flame is a desired height and temperature. Once the Bunsen burner is lit, make sure that you use safe practices as we are dealing with fire. First and foremost, never leave a Bunsen burner unattended. Be conscious of where the Bunsen burner is on the bench and never reach across the lab bench or get in close contact with the flame. It is advised that students with long hair tie their hair back for safety purposes. When you are finished with the Bunsen burner, simply shut off the gas line at your bench by placing the line back in its original position.